My love of cycling started with my two-year stint as a missionary in Taiwan. Some of you are thinking, hey, aren't you the secular student advisor, faculty advisor? <laughs> yes, I am, but that's another story. <laughs> a friend of mine in Taiwan introduced me to Lance Armstrong. I ended up reading his biography. Most of it was lies, by the way. <laughs> it basically said, I'm not dopey. Cancer made me a superhuman. Uh, but anyways, I got into road biking right after I got back to the States. Uh, my road biking habit did not last very long, however. My wife, Holly, wanted to get in on cycling, but she was drawn to the mountain instead of the road. So I sold the road bike, and we bought a couple of mountain bikes. Pretty soon, we were enjoying the Utah scenery together. For three glorious, child-free years, <laughs> we biked the trails of Logan Canyon together. Uh, after a while, I graduated, and we moved to Indiana for graduate school. As you can see, this is not ideal for mountain biking. <laughs> it's flat, there's lots of cornfields. This was the mountain biking doldrums of our life. <laughs> My kids did learn to bike in Indiana, however. There was a pond behind our, behind our house with a path. My daughter learned to ride at age three. Uh, we always just decided to skip the training wheels. She loved to do laps around that pond. My son, Reed, was something of a mountain bike prodigy. He started riding a few months before his third birthday. It was really clear from a young age that he was going to be a ripper. That's mountain bike parlance for, an, a, very, for a very aggressive ride. GCC brought us back, back out west, and we got reacquainted with the sport as a family. My kids started on these very low-quality steel frame mountain bikes. Um, when they would hit a rock garden, it looked more like they were staying on a bucking wool than mountain bike. <laughs> the kids invested in their skills, and so we invested in some decent bikes. We also noticed some interesting socialization opportunities through mountain biking. Through mountain biking, my kids learned that repetition and hard work pays off. My, my kids are also very competitive with one another. Uh, they compete over everything. There's a very strong sibling rivalry there. <laughs> Didn't matter if we were at the park or on the trail, they were always competing with one another. This created some other socialization opportunities. It turns out my son, Reed, is a very aggressive and fearless mountain biker. But we were able to teach my daughter, Brielle, that she also has other skills, even though she might not be the same mountain biker that Reed is. I actually had to add that picture of her with her soccer trophy <laughs> after I gave this last night. <laughs> so um, we've also been able to teach her that she can be proud of her other accomplishments, such as her academic achievement and her uh, prowess in team sports. We also remind her that she can still outclimb her brother. She's still a little stronger than he is. She's actually behind him in this picture, but by the top of that climb, she's going to pass him, and then on the descent, he's going to pass her back. That's how it always goes. We've also taught my son Reed not to brag so much about his mountain biking skills to his sister. This is obviously not Reed, but this is his goal. He wants to compete in the Red Bull Rampage someday. My kids don't always remember the lessons that we teach them through mountain biking, but they do for the most part. Uh, we've also been able to teach them toughness and perseverance. Brielle is smiling right here, but she actually wrecks by the time, five times by the time we get to the bottom of this trail. You can't really quit in the middle of mountain biking. Last year, my son Reed broke his jaw on a drop. For six weeks, he was off the bike, and he was very scared when he got back on. But he soon overcame his fear, and he's doing more crazy tricks than ever before now. My younger two, Allie and Anson, refuse to be left out of the picture. <laughs> they want a mountain bike just like their older siblings. When we go mountain biking now, all six of us together, it's a little more complicated than it used to be. The way we've worked it out is one of us goes on the trail with the older two, while the other stays at the bottom of the trail with the younger two. As you can see in this picture, a new sibling rivalry is brewing. <laughs> left out of anything that we do. Holly and I rarely bike together anymore uh, as we split our time between the kids. However, 
we think that in about six years, all six of us will be able to complete a mountain bike ride together. Because for us at least, the family that rides together stays together. No.